Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve an issue you're coming across when you're running the disk partition utility. And this is the disk part has encountered an error, data error, cyclic redundancy check. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now the first command we're going to type in is SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, next thing we're going to do is type in CHK, DSK, space, and now type in the drive loader you're having the problem with. So if it's a different drive, it might not be the one that Windows is installed on, but it may be for all we know. So go ahead and type in the drive loader again that you were experiencing this issue with or this error message with. And then type in a colon space forward slash R. Exactly as you see it on my screen, the only difference in your case may be instead of the C, you're going to type in a different drive letter in here. Hit enter on your keyboard. So check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? I'm going to tap the Y key and hit enter. And now I'm going to close out of here and restart the computer. If you were running that scan on a non-Windows bootable drive, then you don't have to go through that. It wouldn't say that you have to restart the computer. But in our case, it does, so we're going to go ahead and restart our device. Don't tap any keys on your keyboard as the system is restarting. I will because I don't want to show a really long scan running here. I'm just going to go ahead and actually skip over it because it's going to say to skip the scan, press any key. Don't press any keys. But I am going to press the key because I just don't want to make this demonstration too long. It's an automated process from there. You guys don't have to do any input. You can walk away from your computer for a little while and then come back. But pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.